Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, and uh, yep, I'm back. I uh, know I haven't uploaded anything since the last Cali video. I'm sorry about that. I did actually record some stuff after that video that I intended to upload, but uh, I ended up not doing so, mostly because I was waiting for a specific something to happen uh, that I thought might, but it didn't, and uh, that just kind of got in the way. <laughs> And sorry, I can't be more specific than that, but I don't really know if I want to get into it. Um, but I'll probably upload those videos next week now, because, uh, I mean, why not? They're there still. Uh, and I still have some from, like, months ago that I haven't uploaded. So I really have stuff that I should be putting out there, but I just haven't yet. Um, and there's still more that I want to record. I know there are some, like, cover songs that have come out recently that i got to get to. And... Uh, yeah, I really got to get the reaction requests going again. In fact, I did. Some of the videos that I recorded last time were reaction requests, so those will finally get started on the channel again soon, uh, even though the thing that I was waiting for has not happened yet. Uh, but anyway, we're here today because Callie put out her album. Yes, her second album, Cinderella, her first on her new... Uh, well, I mean, it's been over half a year now, <laughs> but... Uh, I guess it's still her new label. This is her first major album release on the label, her second release period after the EP. Um, but uh, yeah, this is her, her second full-length album, her, her, her first on the label, and it's called Cinderella, and uh, I am really hyped for this. I mean, it's a concept album based around the Deadly Sins. Uh, the seven that we know, plus some new ones, which seem, uh, we know what they are now, and they seem kind of interesting. I did see the the, the promotional video, the trailer for this album, so I, I did see the sins listed, and uh, some were definitely rather unconventional, shall we say. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that just makes it fun. Um, and the songs we've heard so far for the, from this album have been pretty good. I mean, uh, I know I'm Greedy isn't for everyone, but I think it's a pretty good song, and I think it's grown on me quite a bit. And uh, Nezumi Scheme is, uh, yeah, really good. I mean, I've liked that one from the start. So, uh, yeah, so far, I'm liking this album, and I'm looking forward to what we got from it. And we'll be starting with, uh, I guess, the third single that uh, we have, which is the third song to get a video. Uh, and for that one, I just realized I didn't let this ad play. I usually do that. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, it's muted, so we'll just let it play in the background. Um, when I realized I never, oh no, no, I did. I guess I did bring that up. Okay, uh, so it's like you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but yes, I did bring that up. So you do. So we'll let that play, and then I'll unmute when I'm going to start it. But uh, yeah, this is the third single. Oh, and it was a short ad. Was <laughs> not expecting it to start yet. Uh, yeah, third single, "Wanted Wasted." Uh, we have the oral cigarettes which is an interesting name for a group. Um, don't know, but um, yeah. Wanted Wasted. Looks like, again, we have a full team working on the video. Uh, so that's great. And I think from the thumbnail and stuff, it's probably going to be another 3D one. And those are always fun. Um, but uh, that said, let's just let's just go ahead and get get uh let's just go ahead and get into it. This is Wanted Wasted from Calliope Mori and the Oral Cigarettes, or at least Takuya Yamanaka. I don't know if he's like <laughs> he is the Oral Cigarettes or just a part of the Oral Cigarettes. Uh, hard to really say. Whatever the case, here we go. Callie Descending. Huh. Oh. Okay. Well, this is different.
Uh, definitely a high energy track here. Lots of Cali running. And that's an interesting uh, setting there. <laughs> she sounds pretty good too. Some, some singing on this one. Pretty cute dance there. And now we're ascending. Okay, so <laughs> started with the fall and then she flew upwards. Okay, interesting. As for the song, I don't know. I don't know about that. That was uh, it's interesting. It, it, it's upbeat, has a lot of energy. Cali sounds good. Uh, Maybe it's just because I couldn't really discern any lyrics. It was way too fast. And I think most of it was in Japanese, at least as far as I could tell. But, um, I mean, it sounded good. This is the kind of thing that'll probably grow on me. I just, I don't know if it's the most immediate thing ever. What are other people saying? Okay. Um... Yeah, other people really liking me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I need to give it another listen. A lot of people's favorite from the album. Yeah, we'll, we'll listen to it again when we get to it in the in the album rotation, which I guess is second. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll listen to another song, then we'll listen to that one again. I, I don't think we need to listen to "I'm Greedy" again. Or an Esme scheme, but we'll we'll listen to that again after Taste of Death. See if it's if my opinions changed on it, and maybe I'll not pay as much attention to the video or something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the album proper. This is the first song, the lead-off track, Taste of Death. Here we go. <laughs> Kind of does have that sound to it. Feels 
breathing. I mean, it's kind of a more of a pop sound to it, but uh, in a way, but it's uh, <laughs> probably my favorite song so far from the album. That was that was that was nice, <laughs> very fun. Now let's listen to this again after this ad. That can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Okay, short one, good. <laughs> Just taking the sound this time. I'm not even looking at the video. Pretty satisfying chorus there. When that when that comes in. is that this is just so different from what I expect from Cali, but I'm kind of taken aback by it. I mean, just listening to it, it is a very well put together song. So, okay well there we go yeah yeah i think the second listen did improve it for me um it is just so different from what i expect from cali and uh i mean it sounds great very well composed song uh well put together <laughs> and i think it probably will continue to grow on me i think i mean i'll have to i'm excited to hear her do that live like either on karaoke or like an actual live performance just to see what that would be like because I imagine it would just give a 
completely different energy to it. Um, so we'll have to <laughs> see when that happens. Anyway, we're skipping over I'm Greedy, going into Internet Brain Rot. This is one of her original sins. I forget what Wanted Wasted is. Uh, I know she broke it down on that trailer that I saw. The, the Yeah. Um, but I forget which one that was. This is one of the, the, the original sins, though. A really good meal. I think it was like too much internet. Dude, you don't need to get that. Alright, fun. Fun beat here. Okay. Some power there. Oh, okay. Straight up cancel culture. I'm sorry, but it's true. I'm offending you. What you gonna do? I'm offending you. Tell me what you gonna do. I'm offending you. What you gonna do? I'm afraid of you. Hate me. What you gonna do? 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 Problematic can't even pick new words and a tired chick had it. Even why you can cry, nah, ain't gonna stop. You ain't responsible for them because they forgot about Papa. These are words to the bottom. In hope, lay it along with me. Clear all jokes from that head. Now satire's dead, and everyone's wrong. Wow. Been coughing for a while. This song is fine. Just pure, pure fun there. That was a, <laughs> a great showing from Callie. Love the lyrics. Totally based, as they say. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Really in your face for Callie. I mean, I'd love to see her put this out as a single, actually, with a video and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> if there was controversy for off of their heads, I have to wonder what... Uh, <laughs> people would say about this song. <laughs> um, great stuff. Love hearing that. And uh, now we're moving on to Soul Food. I believe this is the Gluttony song. So uh, <laughs> let's hear it. And I think it's literally about food. So... Uh, <laughs> I just want you to Yeah. 
face. in here. Nice sound of that overall. Definitely the kind of thing that I could see getting in, stuck in my head. Very catchy song. Moving on, we got Cringecore. This is another uh, of her original uh, original sins. That's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, the ones that she made up for the album. Uh, <laughs> and I think it's secondhand embarrassment, so makes sense. Cringecore. Here we go. Great start. Just saying it. Brand new genre, made a cell, sh 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 want to, what, no, acting like a fool to get their hopes down, slacking back at school, Moby's a class clown, Moby's in the past, this is cool, sound my glass crown, lucky no kid who took my shot, so, hatred is a fashion, so come get it while it's hot, got no skill, yet I hit top shelf, guarantee you'll never get it, less than me towards myself, Took a swing now. Step into the ring, I'll let you. The worst that you got, yeah. First, take a shot. I'm just that bad. Right now, acting like a fool to get their hopes down. Slacking back in school, Moby's a class clown. Moby's in the past, it off his crap. Down my glass crown. Stop complaining, one guy. Rolling eyes, drop a side like I don't know how to clap back. Hey, straight as your eyes. Got no clue, I'm a pro. <laughs> Great stuff. I love 
this chorus. Great lyrics. Is that an RR in there? Definitely my favorite chorus uh, so far on the album. Love it. And not at all what I was expecting from the title and from how it started. I was I was thinking maybe this was going to be like huge W two, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's another like uh, song about the haters uh, <laughs> and how they perceive her. But uh, yeah, I think this one was. I mean, really, again, very catchy, very fun, and. Uh, <laughs> Some great lyrics in there. Love the chorus. Love everything there. That was definitely one that I will be returning to quite a bit. Next, we got Dance Past Midnight featuring Amelie. So, uh, yeah, we have Amelie returning the favor. Callie was on a song on her album, I believe, uh, Villain Vibes. So, uh, yeah, now we got it the other way around for Dance Past Midnight. Here we go. Okay. After this ad. Being lazy, is this the soft song? I mean, everyone really thinks so for the dance part of it. My brain is overloaded, rather take it slow inside. This brain has got me going crazy, praying I can hide. Got a million things that I want to do. Wow. Charlie really bringing it up, so as uh. The stand with Amelie here. Wow.
interesting interpretation of sloth. It's uh doesn't sound at all like I would expect a sloth song to sound. Well, that was cool. Great sound to it. Amelie sounded amazing. Callie sounded amazing. Kind of had to keep pace, and she did so amazingly. Like, just beautiful vocals from both of them, and uh, the song was great. Uh, Very well put together. Um, Yeah, excellent. Excellent stuff. Another one that I will have to listen to many times. And now we got Death Sentence. Here we go. This is the shortest song on the album. Oh, title drop. Okay, well, that was cool. Might be some of her most impactful rap on the album. Guilty, huh? really cool definitely a very dark uh much darker feeling song than anything else on the album but in uh, a beautiful way uh yeah, this is kind of haunting in a sense um despite being the shortest song on the album it doesn't feel like it it feels in, in a good way i mean it's not like it's boring it's just that it feels like it has its full purpose and uh and it uh, creates a mood in the time that it has and does so wonderfully. I wouldn't really need it to be longer or else it might actually drag because uh, there were like slower parts to it, but for, for effect. And I think it worked really well. Great song. Love the sound. Excited to hear it again, actually, but I'll save that for my own time. Moving on, we got the final song of the album. This is Glass Slipper. Here we go. After this ad. This is the longest song on that one. Only one to crack four minutes. (laughs) 
And obviously with the title glass slipper, this is the one that's like really leading into the Chilly nights, petty Cinderella thing. My friends and I, sick of living on the flies, to probably stricken by the fact I'm so damn high. I feel the envy, I feel the urge to pretend be a self-important Cinderella till the morning end me. Is it all a waste of time? Puzzle pieces in my pocket as I chase the lines to read between the sides. You guys seem to think that I'm trying to redefine what it means to rhyme. Maybe I just like to write. Please go mind your own business. Find where I'm at. Resign. Cheap till the glass slipper out grows me. I'll keep up some words back quick as they throw me. I'd rather disown me than die old and lonely. So the story goes the one they saw me. A tragic tale say it feels fine. No magic spell heals time. Staring deep inside and I can't hold back. I didn't say much of anything during that one because uh, pretty much from the go I was kind of uh, absorbed into it and uh, yeah that's probably the best song on the album I don't know if I want that to be the best song on the album because it's heart-wrenching <laughs> uh, but I also feel like it's probably the heart of the album I think this is probably the song maybe these last two were the songs that kind of sparked the whole idea for it especially the whole Cinderella motif obviously I think they're the only two that mention it, but uh, and before I heard this song, I kind of didn't really understand the relevant relevancy of the whole idea of Cinderella and how that relates to Callie. But uh, after hearing this, I mean, it's painfully obvious, and um, yeah, that's a heavy one, but um, it's a lot of emotion in it, it's definitely. I think the seed for this whole project and it's the way it ends and it's uh, 
a heavy, deep, powerful song. Uh, I don't know if I'll listen to it as much as some of my other favorites on the album, but I think it is probably the best song. And uh, definitely one that will stick with me. And uh, yeah, that I will return to. Now I'm curious, I, I, I think I caught most of them, but I, I, I want to make sure I know what each song represents from the theme. So let's go to this video because I know this has it. Okay, yeah. So, uh, uh, Tasted Death Was Indeed Lust. Wanted Wasted Is Wrath. Okay, so that, that kind of explains, um, I didn't really get that from the song, but I mean, I guess from like the, 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 just how unrelenting it is, uh, I could kind of see that. I mean, there were so few lyrics I picked up. I, mean, I know the first verse is mostly English, but like in terms of the lyrics, I don't really think I picked up too much tying that to wrath exactly. Obviously, I'm greedy as greed. Uh, <laughs> too much internet. <laughs> yes, that's a great, great sin there. And a great song. Love that one. So much fun. Uh, Nezumi Scheme is pride, of course. I already covered that. Soul Food is gluttony. Uh, because of course it is. Cringe Core is self degradation. Uh, oh, yes, not secondhand <laughs> embarrassment. <laughs> not just straight. It's, I mean, that makes more sense for the lyrics, really. Um, and yeah, this was indeed sloth, though. I think this was contrary to a lot of the album because I think it was kind of like an anti sloth song in a lot of ways. I mean, it dealt with it in the themes, but uh, I mean, the title is literally Dance Past Midnight. Uh, <laughs> Which maybe is just sort of testament to Mori and how I think Sloth of the Sins is maybe one of the ones that affects her the least. <laughs> I think, I mean, she's just such a, uh, like, move forward, always working on something. Uh, I don't really, I mean, <laughs> I guess she probably has her lazy moments, but I, I don't really see that being part of her a big part of her overall. And yeah, guilt. I kind of figured that's what the sin here was for death sentence. And uh, yeah, Glass Slipper is the envy song. That was pretty clear as well. Um, so yeah, that's how it breaks down. And um, I would say that this album overall is kind of amazing. <laughs> I definitely prefer it to Unalive. I think there are songs on Unalive that I like more than most of the songs here. I don't know if I would say all of the songs here. Uh, but, um, like, Lose, Lose Days. I mean, that's a song that just, like, immediately grabs me. I love that song. Um, but uh, overall, the quality here is just so high. Like, every song impressed me in some ways. Uh, and weirdly, I think... I mean, I really like Nezumi's Scheme, but, but these two... I mean, Wanted Wasted, I think that one will grow on me. I think I just have to get used to how different it is. Such a different sound. I think I'll probably will like that one. Uh, but I think in terms of like uh, sounds, like uh, the ones that have been the singles so far, I like less than the songs that haven't been singles. I think like, <laughs> what will be the fourth single, the fourth song to get a video here? I, I, I'm curious. I would like to see it be Glass Slipper, actually. I think that'd be a good one, but I don't know if that will be. Because, uh, I mean, that is such an impact song, but it's also, I don't know, in terms of, like, overall commercial appeal. Might be better to go with Dance Past Midnight with the Amelie connection. Uh, that could be a good one. I think Death Sentence would actually get, go pretty well. That's such a cool sound to it. I think that's a song people would like. And of course, Internet Brain Rot. <laughs> I would love to see that go out there. <laughs> or Cringe Core. I think I, I don't, I, they're all good. Like even Taste of Death. I mean, that was our startup song and that was great too. That was like a really fun one. Um, like I love all these songs, I think. <laughs> like great stuff from Gally. Definitely an excellent album. Great way. I, I definitely, I mean, um, comparing it to uh, Alive, but comparing it to the EP, I definitely say I prefer this handily over the songs there. I mean, there were some good songs on that EP, but uh, this reached greater heights for sure for me. Like, this was some excellent, an excellent set of songs.
definitely going to. I'm probably going to just go and straight listen to this again after I edit this video. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, that all said, I don't think I really have too much else to say. As said, definitely going to be uploading some other videos uh, probably next week. I don't know if there'll be much over the weekend, but uh, definitely uh, going to get some stuff out next week and uh, probably going to try and record more. Probably going to try and record more over the weekend because I do have, I want to get like ahead because uh, that'll, that'll be good. Um, but yeah, definitely going to try and upload more and uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Let me know if you did and see you in the next one.